the U.S. Air Force announced on April 26, 2024, that the survivable Airborne's Operations Center contract was awarded to Sierra Nevada Corporation. This contract will ultimately replace the current E-4B Nightwatch aircraft fleet. The initial cost of the program is estimated to be around $13 billion, with $59 million being earmarked for preliminary research and development. In case you didn't know, the E-4 Nightwatch is a modified, militarized version of the Boeing 747-200. So, in a way, it's similar to the two famous VC-25A jumbo jets used as the United States presidential planes, often referred to as Air Force One. The avionics and cabin of the E-4 Nightwatch are protected against electromagnetic interference and external radiation. With such conditions likely to occur after a nuclear attack, it's earned the nickname Doomsday Plane. Since the upgrade to the B standard in the 1980s, this type of aircraft can be refueled during flight, extending its autonomy to 72 hours. Without aerial refueling, the aircraft can fly for about 12 hours. At the moment, four E-4Bs are in operation within the 1st Airborne Command Control Squadron, which is part of the 595th Command and Control Group based at Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. According to the U.S. Air Force, an E-4B may include seating for up to 111 people, including a Joint Service Operations Team, Air Force Flight Crew, Maintenance and Security Component, Communications Team, and Selected Augmentees. These aircraft, which have been operating since the early and mid-1980s, are on high alert 24-7. However, given their age, they're due to be phased in the early 2030s. In December 2023, it was revealed that Boeing was no longer in the running to build the E-4B's replacement. This left the Sierra Nevada Corporation, or SNC, as the only known remaining competitor. In a Pentagon-issued notice, it was stated that SNC won the E-4B contract at a value of over $13 billion. The precise amount is a huge and lengthy number, so we'll post it here for you to see. This contract provides for the development and production of the SAOC weapon system, including delivery of engineering and manufacturing development aircraft, associated ground systems, production aircraft, and interim contractor support. According to the contract announcement, work for this project will be performed in Inglewood, Colorado, Sparks, Nevada, Beaver Creek, Ohio, and Vandalia, Ohio. The expected completion date is set for July 10, 2036. Details are limited in terms of what the Air Force wants in a successor to the E-4B, but we can be fairly certain that it will be a commercial aircraft modified to meet military requirements. There aren't too many aircraft models that are the size of the existing E-4B, a modified Boeing 747-200. Of course, there are plenty of used 747s flying around, and so perhaps SNC will acquire a few used 747-400s or 747-8s as the platform there's no doubt that extensive modifications will need to take place, particularly if the government wants to include similar features as the existing aircraft, such as robust radiation shielding and aerial refueling. So, what aircraft type do you think should be selected to be the platform for the Doomsday Plane replacement? Let us know by leaving a comment. AeroTime is a global, multi-channel, digital, and professional hub, providing news, events, and advisory services to the aviation world. Be sure to subscribe to our newly relaunched YouTube channel and follow us on social media to get the latest aviation news.